So I'm going to do a little bit of an unboxing. I purchased myself the Elgato Wave 3 streaming microphone. So let's see what we got in here. Wave three. It's beautiful. Feels quite solid. This stand feels quite heavy. And uh, no shaking. Comes with a nice little U mount stand. I am probably going to attach it to a mic on just so that don't get knocking on the table uh, so you know what this is this is probably the uh so the various attachments so let's open this up i think this will be the cord usb cable and then the microphone adapter off oh, because it is supposed to come with that yeah we've got usb cable usb a to USB-C and then we've got in here should be the mic arm adapter so I'm going to plug in this and uh, set it all up and see how it goes So it's been a couple days and I've got it set up now. You'll see that I have put it up on a mic arm just because I wanted to get it up off the desk in front of a keyboard and stuff. And I like being able to move my hands around. Um, but I'm really happy. Um, I'm going to switch now through the microphone, the Wave 3 microphone and then the Logitech C920 webcam microphone. I don't have any of them. Good microphones to compare i was using an old usb headset but one weird issue i noticed is plugging in the wave 3 not compatible and no longer plays audio which is a little bit weird but i have found the uh, headphone plug or the headphone output from the microphone itself with ordinary um, 3.5 mil headphones has been really good and uh, yeah, so switching between the sounds, you can hear uh, the sound sources, you can hear the difference, and uh, I am very happy. It's 
certainly not a cheap microphone, but the features are really impressive. So it's got the clip guard where if your voice starts getting too loud, it will automatically lower that and prevent clipping. And uh, it does have a function for a, sort of a low cut filter, so removing background hum and stuff. And one thing you'll definitely notice is uh, on this microphone versus the webcam microphone, you can hear a lot of background noise uh, coming from my computer in the background. You can really hear that being picked up by the webcam. You can really hear that being picked up by the webcam, even though it's using a dual microphone system that's supposed to remove background noise, certainly doesn't. Um, I am using the, the Wave 3 on the lowest gain and I'm sure you'll agree the voice is absolutely fine and is not picking up background noise. I could potentially raise the gain if I needed to, but I think for the low background noise, it's good to have that on the lowest possible setting. Um, the only other maybe slight gripe I have with it is the button on it. If you want to switch between modes, so between the gain setting and the headphone mix and the headphone volume, it's quite a loud clicky. So you can't quietly do that uh, while you're streaming. I do like the dial though, it's got this really nice sort of uh, step. I don't know if that actually makes noise. So now I'm just bumping up the gain, so now that's really high. And uh, I really do like the capacitive mute switch. So. That has no sound when you touch it, which is really nice if you just want to quickly get up while you're streaming or something. You can just mute your mic really easily. You don't have to go into OBS and mute sources or something. You can just do that from there, which is really nice. So yeah, I am uh, very happy. Um, as I said, it's not a cheap microphone. Um, I was able to get a little bit of help from my patrons. Their support is really useful. It certainly didn't cover it completely, but it really helped a lot. So thank you to my patrons. If you want to support me, my patron is patreon.com slash photonwind. And uh, if you want to support me, that's a great way. I also have merch available. There'll be links in the description. So then we've got the Wavelink software itself, which is really cool. So, so what you can do is you can set up individual mixes for different sources on your computer. So like system, audio, music, browser, voice chat, games. Um, you can add additional things. So you can have SFX, AUX1, AUX2. They don't prescribe what actually is going there. That's just a name. Um, but you can basically route different audio sources to go to different things. So you can set up like Spotify or your browser to go to music. Uh, you can set up your browser in its own thing, voice chat, you can have Discord, and then you can control individual levels for all these different things. So you can have your headphone volume and then your stream mix volume for these. So you can have different volumes for these different things over here. Um, so you can make your voice chat say, if you've got Discord and you want your teammates to be a little bit quieter on your stream, you can lower that down. You can also mute that for a certain time. And uh, in here are also different settings. So for your microphone itself, you've got a little drop down here for, um, as I said, you can adjust your gain, your output volume, and your mic and PC mix. Um, here is also where you turn on the additional settings. So the enhanced low cut filter, which removes low pitch sort of drone noises. And clip guard is that thing that I was telling you about where it tries to remove clipping. And so each of these other ones you can rename and you can mute them on both by just clicking on them. So the, both the headphones and the stream just by clicking on them to mute. Uh, and 
and there's a handy little auto shortcut which you can click on which will then open up the window settings where you can then go route individual sounds to different sources so you can say you want your uh, different audio sources to go to something else so I can make like Firefox and go to Wavelink browser or something like that you can set Discord to go to Wavelink voice you can set it to go to Wavelink voice chat or various things like that which is very handy um, and then the other thing that you can do is on the outputs you've got your monitoring mix which is basically the output um, of this so you can hear yourself um, there is a zero latency monitoring if you plug into the back of the microphone or else you can also route this to additional outputs um, or you can listen to exactly what is in the stream mix so if you switch to the little ear icon you can hear exactly the sound that is going to the stream output audio channel and you can bring in each of these individual sources into OBS or you can bring in the stream output itself so you can just have the plain microphone output or you can have the full mix or the individual channels because they're all software audio channels which is quite cool Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, you enjoy the wave stream. If you want to hear it in action, uh, I stream three times a week, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. I do art streams and on the weekend I do some gaming. Um, that's at twitch.tv slash photonwind. Yeah, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe and a like would be greatly appreciated. All right, thanks for joining in. See you next time. Bye-bye.